Today is the Pulse Online Educational Exchange. Think time flies like an arrow. Already Pulse time we made together. Some Korean students want to teach the Philippine students how to say Koreans very easy daily conversation. Who is the volunteer? Stand up. 안녕하세요. Means hello or hi. Repeat after me. 안녕하세요. Students, would you please repeat after Korean students one more time? 안녕하세요. Uh, Chloe, can you please uh, repeat after him? 안녕하세요. Okay. 반가워요. Been nice to see you. Repeat after me. 반가워요. Okay, would you please repeat after him? 반가워요. 안녕하세요. 오늘은 10월 6일입니다. Means today is the 6th of October. Repeat after me word by word. Chloe, Chloe. He said 오늘은. 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 10월. She will, Chloe. She will. Onurun, she will. Onurun, she will. Yukil imnida. Yukil imnida. Yukil imnida. Yukil imnida. Yukil imnida. Yukil imnida. Yukil. Very difficult. Whole sentence. Okay. Onurun, she will. Yukil imnida. Please repeat after him. Whole sentence. Onurun, she will. Yukil imnida. Anurun Shiwal. Yukil Imnida. Yukil Imnida. Okay, great. Okay. 안녕하세요. 같이 공부해요. Means let's study together. Repeat after me. 같이 공부해요. Chloe, 같이 공부해요. 같이 공부. 같이. 공부 공부 해요 해요 같이 공부 해요 같이 공부 해요 같이 같이 공부 해요 같이 공부 해요 네 잘했어요 Please let's give them a a little bit of help. Okay, okay. Okay, learning Korean is a little bit difficult. The pronunciation is a little bit difficult, but if you spend some time, you can learn Korean very easily. Okay, one more time. Okay, all uh, Philippine students, would you please repeat after me one more time? 안녕하세요. Uh, Song Sing we will just call one student again because it will be hard. It will be too noisy if they will speak or if all of them will speak after you. Eliza? Good morning. May I please turn on your mic and repeat after Song Sing Nim? Okay. okay. Good morning. Okay. Would you please repeat after me and the other students, the other Philippine students? And listen and repeat. Okay, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Good. Means hello, hi. 반가워요. 반가워요. Okay, nice to see you. 오늘은 10월 6일입니다. 오늘은 10월 6일입니다. Great. That means today is the 6th of October. You can speak Korean so well. Okay, let's study together. Means 같이 공부해요. 같이 공부해요. Okay, great. Would you please give her a big hand? Good job. Thanks, Amita. Okay, so you can come to Korea and so you can communicate with uh, Korean people, so you can speak Korean so well. Thank okay. you. So okay, let's nice. review what you learned last time. So there are so many things on the screen. What can you see on the screen? Any volunteer? Tourist spot in different countries. Yeah, different countries. What? There are so many beautiful buildings in in the world. Tourist spots in different countries. Okay, different place. We can see very beautiful and very historical place. We call this. What do you call this place? Korean student. What do you call this place? Okay, cultural heritage. There are so many cultural heritage. Okay, every country has their own cultural heritage. Okay, and so I asked three questions. The first one, what is the cultural heritage? Any volunteer, Philippine student? Cultural heritage is the totality of 
cultural property preserved and developed through time and passed on to property. Okay, thank you very much. As you can see, cultural heritage is the legacy of physical architects and intangible attributes of society inherited from past generations. Okay, we have to keep and preserve okay, all the wonderful okay, cultural heritages. Any volunteer, Korean students, okay, what is the intangible cultural cultural heritage? Any volunteer? Okay, come on. Those are the my, micro problems. So I ask the students to come to the front. Come quickly. Intangible cultural heritage is the practice, expression, knowledge, and skills that communities group and sometimes in the measures recognized as part of their cultural heritage. Intangible means we cannot see it, but we can understand very easily that the practice, expressions, knowledge, and skills that commun communities groups and sometimes individuals, like, individuals recognize as part of their cultural heritage. Okay? And for example, okay, can you see the picture on the screen? What do you call this? Questions, what do you call? Okay, we call it Pansori. Is it tangible cultural heritage or intangible cultural heritage? We call it intangible cultural heritage. Okay, the last one. What is the tangible cultural heritage. Philippine students have to think about Um, Tangible cultural heritage refers to physical artifacts produced, maintained, and transmitted intergenerationally in a society. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, physical artifacts produced, maintained, and transmitted intergenerationally in a society. We call this a tangible cultural heritage. Okay, please ask me in the top case whether it is a tangible or intangible cultural heritage. Okay, food, food chance of the Ipugao. Is it tangible or intangible? Um, intangible, but. Okay, intangible cultural heritage. <laughs> you are smart. Okay, another one. What about the interim rules? Interim rules is tangible or intangible? Korean students, interim rules, okay? In Manila, they are so beautiful. There is very beautiful place in main city, uh, in metro. So, interim rules is tangible or intangible? Don't you remember last week you learned? Yeah. yeah. Tangible. Okay, tangible. Okay, because we can see Okay, thank you very much. You love the, all the two different things, tangible and tangible culturality. Okay, you are going to study. Oh, there are all seven, but don't worry about it. Just only one, two is I'm explained. And from three to seven, okay, all, you, all students they go to the small room and Korean students explain about these things. Okay, three days ago, the October 3rd is really important for Korean people. Okay, our nation is founded on the day okay, many, many years ago in the Miss. So some of our Korean students tell the story of the Miss of Kambun. Could you please? Long time ago, there was a god named Han and who had a son named, named Han. Every day Han would get to humor her and Mrs. to go down there to get her to keep her. Look, the mountain head back to benefit the world. Father, go down to the human world and help the people with your wisdom. Father, happily headed down is a god of wind, god of rain, and god of clouds. With the help of the gods and their might powers, Hanu helped people by teaching them how to farm, how to get along with each other, and also treating their illness. One day, bear and tiger visited Hanung and asked for a, a favor. Beloved uh, Hanung, please help us become humans. Hanung handed the two animals some mugwort and garlic. 
and he said, If you can endure one hundred days in the cave, only eating bower and garlic, you too shall become humans. Therein, Tiger took the bower and garlic and burst into the cave. For so they burst that story statement. Tiger started complaining about how hard it, how hard it was to stay in the cave. Oops, no steps. I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving there. Pastor Tiger said, We've come so far. Let's hang just a bit longer. However, Tiger crunched the shape of the soles of delicious food outside the cave. Eventually, Tiger couldn't take it any longer and ran out of the cave. It was hard for there too. But she continued to eat more work and grow it and pray earnestly. Then one day, Bear woke up and happily realized that she had changed it into a beautiful woman. Han Ung really named her Ung Nyo. She married the beautiful and kind Ung Nyo and they had a son together. Han Ung and Han Ung Nyo named their healthy and handsome son, Hangun. Hangun was smart, big-hearted, and courageous, and everyone followed his lead. People loved being around Dangun, who was wise and good, affirming and hunting. Following his father Han Ung's footsteps, Hangun founded a country named Gojoseon. He ruled the country peacefully for about 2,000 years. And after that, it is said that he went into the mountains and become a mountain god. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's give it up a big hand. Philippines students, do you understand? Uh, if you were a bear in the story, what would you do and why? If I were the bear mom, I think um, in the story I would do the same as the bear because uh, she stayed there in the cave and become human. So I think uh, the pos um, um, becoming human is one of the greatest things. So I think I will do the same. Okay, you just want to stay in the cave like a bear. Okay, so it's very difficult. Okay, any volunteer to tell about your story? thought if you were a bear what would you do if i were a bear i would stay in the cave because i like garlic <laughs> so he likes garlic he just wants to stay in the cave <laughs> okay okay here, if you were a tiger what would you do you okay so he just want to about if I were a tiger, I would run away from the cave because I don't like garlic and mogwai. Mo you don't like? Okay, if I were a tiger, <laughs> like you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank I will endure the 100 days to become you. Because I am this type of person that would endure any hardship just to achieve my goal. Okay. So, thank you very much. Okay, so we can learn about, so we have to endure if we want to do something. So, what if you want to be a great person? So, in our midst of Dangun, so we think about endure. It's and and difficult. If you if you endure and overcome the difficulties, you will be a great person in the future. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's play count game. Okay, okay, click best. What is the diamond's name? Tangun. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, who is the king that came down from the sky? The human god. Twenty two. The bear and the tiger are at. <laughs> Hey! 
How do you feel while you are listening to this song? I just want to know about the feeling of your questions. Any volunteer? Happy for mom. I felt it felt happy for mom and heart felt po. Because of the messages that these two songs are conveying po mom. Okay. So, okay. Thank you. Okay. So, Arilang is a lyrical pop song in the Republic of Korea. So, these, these two songs are very famous. All the people, the, from the youngsters and the elderly people know this song. Arilang is like our state food rice. Okay. So, many people like this song. Arilang is building in and enduring and preserving while sending him. Him means sweetheart. All the country. Okay, we have a very sad story. In 1990, our country was occupied by Japanese people. So we endured. Without these songs, we cannot recover. Okay, nowadays the public of Korea. And so, if you look at the dual meanings structures of Ari Iran, you can send Ariran of goodbye. But you can also welcome Arirang of meaning to greet you. So, two different meanings. So, okay, sometimes sad, sometimes very excited, okay, happy mood. So, the BTS sing this song very happily. Uh, spring in my hometown. So, yeah, I already okay, told you Korea has very sad, uh, sad history. Okay, we had the Korean War, our country divided by two countries, so North Korea and South Korea. People left their hometown, they cannot return to their hometown. So, thinking about their hometown, they came this song. I just want to know about did you like the world? Oh. No. Okay, no one, like, okay, no one likes the world. So, we hope the Russia and Ukraine, the world stop. Okay, so, we have to return, we have to preserve the wonderful our hometown. No, there is no more words. Okay? And this is all related to the last part. I uh, give me the uh, good meaning. Hometown remains only in the hologram of the mind. The, the people, they cannot return to their hometown. It's wrong. So we have to stop the world. Okay? okay, let's move on. What is this? Do you know what is this for? Take one, the pop. Okay, wow. this is Taekwondo. Okay, so our students explain about Taekwondo in the small group. Okay, what is this? With this one? Which one? Which one? The Korean national sports is very famous. Okay, the answer is? Serum Mom or Korea Wrestling. Yes, Korean Serum. How do you know Korean Serum? Do you know do you happen to play Korean Wrestling Serum? Okay, next time, when you visit Korea or you play uh, Shilong with your friends, do you know this one? Yeah? Summer night. Summer Nori. Oh, you're so smart. Okay, what is Sa? Wow. Know? The meaning of Sa. Sa means four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Wool means a musical instrument. There are four musical instruments. Okay. The players play this. Musical instrument and dance. Okay. okay, this school is very famous. Okay, what is this? What they call? Bibimbap. Okay, bibimbap. Okay. Nowadays, the world famous okay, this food, the bibimbap. I like it very much. And okay, there are so many beautiful flowers on the earth in Korea and in Philippines too. A little bit different. So we call it bibimbap. Red flower, and so we are going to learn about the Korean poem. So I was just explaining okay, the We are going to join activity from activity one to activity five. So please join small group. I wish just join the small group. Okay, when you join the small group, all Korean students have to explain about. Taekwondo, Shirok, Sabulukori, and Bibimpap. 
the Korean boy. Okay, our taekwondo group. So they just want to show you the very simple, simple Korean taekwondo. Okay. Okay. They are going to. They are going to show the taekwondo performance. Korean students will show you how to play Korean wrestling shiram. Okay, two students are going to tell you how to tie the okay, Korean shiram sappa. Okay. okay, they are going to show you how to tie the sappa. They are going to show you how to do Korean wrestling shiram. So, okay, I'm the referee of the shiram. Okay, Korean shiram is very famous, especially in Korean Thanksgiving Day. So, the young youngsters play shiram, or the women. One of my students wants me to play Siram. Okay, would you please ask the students to return to the main room? Hello, do you hear me? Yes, Mr. O, we can hear you. Yes, sir, okay. there. Okay, did you enjoy the each group's activities? Yes, we enjoyed it very good. Okay. <laughs> so, Taekwondo is very famous in Korea. Taekwondo means, okay, Taekwondo is the form of martial art characterized the punching and kicking. And uh, okay, the main thing is control mind. It's really, really good sports. Okay, so not attack other people, just uh, defend themselves. So because of that, many world people want to learn Taekwondo. First question, what do you think about Taekwondo Philippine students? Any volunteer? Charisse, can you please answer the question? Um, taekwondo is a Korean form of martial art done with punching and kicking techniques. And for me, it is a great sport as it teaches you various ways how to defend yourself using your fist and feet. Okay, it's a really good martial art. 
depend, not protect other people. Okay. Okay. Do you want to learn Taekwondo? Yes. Okay. I want to learn the basic Taekwondo to defend myself. Okay. So the reason why, so you have to learn Taekwondo. Okay. So most of the Philippines just they have a time to learn about Taekwondo. It's really good for your mind and good for your body. Okay. So I, the two students and I showed the performance of the Korean wrestling Shiram. Do you know how to tie a sapa with a red and the blue? We call this sapa. Okay. So when we play Shiram, so we have to use these two clothes. Okay. On the sand, it's so very safe on the sand. So very ideal sports, okay. especially in Korean Thanksgiving Day Chuseok, we can enjoy Shiram. And uh, most people think serum is very similar like a uh, sumo, it's totally different. Our Korean serum is really good. Okay, and if you want to play serum, please come to Korea, I'll teach you. So, any volunteer, the Philippine students, what do you think about serum? Okay, Dench, kindly answer the first question. What do you think about serum or Korean wrestling? In my opinion, serum or Korean wrestling is a fun physical game. And it also brings many benefits like it greatly hones your physical strength and endurance. Yes. So when we do shiram, so we have a lot of strength. The physical is very good. Okay. And can you play shiram with your friends? Okay, Sophia Nicole, kindly answer the second question. Can you play shiram with your friends? We can play shiram with our friends too. Okay. Based so of maths, but should be careful while it is. Okay, when you do shiram with your friends, you have to be more careful not, not to hurt okay, the opponent or yourself is very careful. So please, when you play shiram, you have to okay, play on the sand on, on the sand or on the grass to protect your body. Okay, so Samul Lori. So Samul Lori is very, very exciting performance, but you cannot see the original ones. So, did you watch it, the Samulori, the original one? The Korean Samulori is very famous. Famous Samulori members can play the performance on New York, in Berlin, in Paris. Yeah, every big city nowadays, the uh, special Samulori members give performance yeah, all tour around the world. Okay. And so the same question, what do you think about Samulori? Any volunteers to talk? Uh, Samonar is a type of traditional percussion music in, from Korea and it was traditionally performed in rice farming villages in order to ensure and to celebrate food service. Why? So, especially in Korea, the so old days, we just only the a staple food is rice. So, rice is really important. Having is really important too. It's just like uh, Philippines. So, after good hobbies, the farmers play, uh, celebrate for the good harvest. So okay, every farmers gather together to play this kind of uh, musical instrument and and play every place and dancing and even the, the elderly people drink makgeolli, Korean the drink makgeolli and so they celebrate for the good harvest. Okay, bibimbap. So. Can you make bibimbap for your family? To make bibimbap together. And some radish. Okay, we call this staple ingredients to make bibimbap.
Okay. When you make a bibimbap, red pepper paste is really important. Without red pepper paste, that is not bibimbap. Okay. Let's mix all together. Okay, mix them well and sit down. Okay, if you like to eat the eggs or meat, you can meet, you can add this bibimbap. Okay, let's enjoy. Okay, could you please spoonful of the bibimbap and try the taste of bibimbap. Okay, just enjoy. Okay, please tell me the taste of bibimbap one by one. Taste good? Okay, new? Very good? Very good? So delicious! Hey, good job. Taste good? Oh, delicious. Okay, it's very easy to make Korean bibimbap. So, why don't you try to make bibimbap for lunch or dinner? Just enjoy the taste of real bibimbap. Uh, I think yes, po. Eh, um, with the um, if you remember the ingredients, po, and um, if um, if you have the right ingredients, po, then I can definitely make bibimbap. Okay, it's very easy. So, could you tell me the main main staple the ingredients? Can you remember? Um, the main ingredients used is beef, uh, gochujang, Why? eggs, cooking oil, um, uh -huh. and sesame, sesame seeds, beans, okay. garlic, mm -hmm. uh, spinach, bean okay. sprouts, mm -hmm. mushrooms, steamed Why? rice, and um, toasted seaweed. Okay, so you all remember all the main staples? Uh, stable uh, ingredients. So, what is the most important when you make a, a bibimbap? Without this one, there is not a real bibimbap. Um, cooking the beef and mixing the vegetables and rice with the meat yes. and sauce. So, okay, those uh, ingredients are important, but the most important thing is gochujang, that's the pepper paste. Okay, thank you. And... <laughs> 자세히 보아야 예쁘다. 오래 보아야 사랑스럽다. 너도 그렇다. 이름을 알고 나면 이웃이 되고, 색깔을 알고 나면 친구가 되고, 모양까지 알고 나면 연인이 된다. 아, 이것은 비밀. 웃기 죽지 말고 살아봐. 꽃 피워봐. 참 좋아. Okay, so last one is the most important. All of the Korean students want to listen to Korean poem full code. Okay, so any volunteer to read the Korean poem full code in Korean and English and Filipino. I will call my students now. Um, Duin, Milaisa, and uh, Erwin. So I think you prepared for this. So let's start now. Erwin, you will you will read. Uh, the English version of Pulkot and then Melaisa will be will follow using Korean language and then Dwayne will uh, tell it in Filipino. So let's listen to them now. Let's start with Erwin. Erwin. Okay, wait for a second. So I just announced my student. Okay. So he shows the, the performance how to okay, read the book, recite the book, 
Okay, would you please? This time is the Philippines Jones. Okay, let's start now. Erwin, say it in English first, then followed by Melissa in Korean, and then Dwayne in Filipino. Let's start now. Grass flower by Nate Ju and Ogwang Rei. Pretty with a close look, lovely with a long gaze, so you are. Knowing your name, I'll be your neighbor. Knowing your color, I'll be your friend. Knowing your shape, we'll be a couple. Ah, it is a secret. Live without being discouraged. Let your flowers bloom. It's great. Melissa. Boy, God. Nate Ju. Chasi buaya yapuda. Ore buaya sarang surakta. Nado gorakta. Irumal algonamion iyoshi dweku. Sekaral algonamion chingu gatweku. Moyang kaji alganamyon, yun ini dwenda. Ah, igusun dimin. Kikuk chi malko sarabwa. Kot piopwa. Cham cho. Great! Now let's listen to Dwayne, the Filipino version. Dwayne? Bulaklak nanda mo, nina nate ju, maganda akong titignan. Kaibig-ibig kong mamasdan. Tulad mo. Sa pag-alam ng iyong ngalan, ako'y iyong kakilala. Sa pag-alam ng iyong kulay, ako'y iyong kaibigan. Sa pag-alam ng iyong hugis, ako'y iyong katipan. Ah, ito ay isang lihim. Mabuhay nang hindi pinangihinaan ng doob. Hayaan likas na mamukadkad ang iyong bulaktak. Ito ay mahusay. Very good. That's it. Susayo. Okay. 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 So, thank you very much. You... Okay, practice a lot so you can uh, beside Korean fruit uh, grass plants. So, practice it. The homework is, okay, there are three homework. The first one is making a recitation video for grass flowers. First, Korean, second, English. The last one is in Filipino. Okay? And the second one, making begin part. Okay. You must make your beginning talk with your friends, at least the type, type of friends, and making a video of eating deliciously with your friends together. Okay? So, second one is you have to make beginning talk and you have to share a good friendship. And the third one, last one is making a wrestling video with your friends or with your okay, siblings is okay your brother or sister or even your father or mother so you have to learn about the real family the family shape so learn about the friendship too it's really all korean things are related to the together okay making food play all things okay, we have to have want to get a good harmony so that is the real philosophy of uh, Korean thing. And just only homework is three homework. Please send them to my padlet. Can you see the padlet? Okay, please don't forget you send three homework. Okay, next uh, Friday. Got it? They understand. Okay, so that's all for today's lesson. Did you enjoy this class? I already sent uh, a video to this. Okay. Uh, let's send the video clips. So you just ask your teachers. They send the video clips and so watch again. Okay, the taekwondo and making bibimbap, shiram, and samulori and tukot too. So you have to keep as your the present for, okay, from me. Thank you. Yes, I had so fun. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's have picture taking for Samsung. Uh, let's have a picture taking first. Open your camera, okay, Filipino okay. students. Let's take a picture together. Okay, one more time. Outside. Okay? One, two, three. Oh, ready. Hanna, Dul, Seth, Chalga. Hatsu sign, Hatsu sign. Hatsu sign, Hatsu sign. One. Hanna, Dul, Seth, Chalga. Okay, maraming maraming salamat po. See you. Maraming maraming salamat po.
Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Kam sa mita. Okay, so, Thank you. 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 Thank